we lost some some clientele. From a financial standpoint, it has been really tricky, and that is that business side of me going, we need to be open. But that won't happen anytime soon for Summerside's owner of Greensboro Downtown Yoga. She can't open until phase three. My heart knew that I couldn't continue to encourage people to be healthy and well through a yoga practice while also saying you could get this condition coming into the studio. Science says the governor made the right decision. Now people are just tired. You know, they want to get back out. They want to move. You cannot confine us and expect for us to continue to be healthy individuals. It does not work that way. Trevor Koontz is the owner of Rock Fitness in Greensboro. We're going to make sure that we're sanitizing, make sure that everything's clean. But James Wyatt, chief medical officer at Moses Cone Hospital, says that may not be enough. When people do certain exercises, they tend to form more droplets than others, especially when they're lifting weights, they tend to sort of strain and perhaps spray a little bit more. And some of these droplets can be around for a long period of time. Dr. Wyatt knows wearing a mask is difficult when working out, and so is cleaning equipment properly between uses. He says bars are also a bigger risk. Social distancing tends to go away in that environment. In a restaurant, you can't control it to some extent by you know, moving the tables further apart and so forth. Dr. Wyatt says restaurants have a lower risk factor because in most instances you're around family, not exposed to as many people, and there's less movement and socializing than at a bar. And Dr. Wyatt says there's nothing definitive saying you'll get the virus if these businesses open, but he says holding off is the safest thing to do as the number of coronavirus cases continues to grow.